Hello and welcome back. This is Candace from Candoodle and I am super excited to be hopping along with the Crescent Creations team today. We are celebrating the launch of their new website and I am going to be making this super simple interactive card using some of their digi stamps and other products that are available in the shop. So let's get started. So I'm starting off with my Misty and I'm just getting this little monkey stamp in his little hands. This one's from Hello Bluebird, but this would work with any of the Avery L like portrait pals or any of your cute little critter stamps. And I'm stamping that down and then I am going to start coloring all of my stamps. So this is actually a digi stamp from the Crescent Creation Fairly Awesome Accessories set. And it's kind of like a swing at an amusement park, so I thought it'd be really cute to have the monkey sitting in it. So I'm just going through and you can see which colors I'm using on the left hand side. While I'm coloring, I am going to tell you a bit about the giveaways. So this hop has four giveaways. There are four $25 gift cards to the Crescent Creation website. And they have so many awesome companies. They have their own digital stamp uh, collection, like the ones I'm using here, but they'll also be selling Honeybee, Avery L, Ranger, Pinkfresh Studio, and Doodlebug, just to name a few. And so you're going to want to make sure that you are subscribed to their website and blog, comment on each of the posts um, for the hop today, and then follow all of their social media. So I'll have all the instructions and everything linked down below so it's really easy to find. But everybody in the hop is super awesome, so you'll want to make sure to hop along and of course subscribe if you're interested. We always really appreciate it. So moving back to the card, I have fussy cut the monkey in his little hands out and I'm just gluing that in behind um, and I'm gluing down the ears as well because I wanted a little bit more stability and this to function as one sort of unit. And so I glued down his hands and then I'm going to come in and make a background. So I'm just using a cloud stencil and some sky blue print fresh studio ink just to add some interest to the background, but you could use pattern paper or any other background or technique that suits your fancy. I just really like the clouds because it looks like he's kind of floating in the air on an amusement park swing, which I thought was really cute. So once I'm done with the ink blending, I am going to come in with my Lawn Fawn small stitch rectangle and cut that out just to give it a little bit of detail and stitching at the side. And then we're going to move on to putting the interactive pieces together. So I took my little monkey and I'm just poking a hole through the center where I want the brad to go. It wasn't quite big enough, so I did take my little tiny hole punch and just poke that through so it has more room to swing around. And then I am going to put that on my background where I want it and mark with my pencil just so I can see where that hole is going to go. That way I poke through at the right spot. And once I'm happy with how that is, I'm going to thread the brad through both the swing and the background and then close it to make sure it's not closed too tightly and there's room for it to swing around. I like to put some paper in the front and take it out after. That way it gives it more room. So then I cut another piece the same size of the stitched rectangle to go behind it and this is just going to give it some lift from the card base because the brad has a little bit of dimension at the back with the prongs. So I just poked it kind of in to give me a little indent so I know where it's going to go and then I drew around it where the prongs are and cut that out. That way as you can see here the prongs fit perfectly and it's going to give me just enough lift off the card base so it's not going to create any issues if I were to put this through the mail or anything like that. So then I'm going to come in with my ATG and I am just going to stick that down and then I'm going to adhere it to the actual card base. Once that's adhered down to the card base, I am going to add my sentiment, which I probably should have added earlier, but that's okay. I ended up using the Avery L Peekaboo Fair stamp set because it has some really cute sentiments, but there's also really cute ones in the Fairly Awesome uh, stamp and the accessories from Crescent Creation. To make sure I got in the right spot, I used my tracing paper because I didn't want to mess it up now that the card is fully together, and then I stamped it down once I was sure of it in some Gina K Black Amalgam ink. And there we have the final card. It is super cute and a fun, quick, easy, interactive card. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the link in the description for the next person along the hop. As always, I appreciate the time that you spend here with me. You can always find me over on Instagram at Candoodle Creations. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye!